No classes at the Southeast Port of Spain Secondary School as teachers walked off the job today. The educators are upset over the conditions under which they are forced to teach students at the school located between George and Nelson Streets. Liron Rommel reports. It's the fourth week of classes and weekly reports surface of issues affecting students across the country. Earlier in the day, teachers at the Southeast Port of Spain Secondary School walked off, leaving their charges unsupervised. Their concern? the health and safety of students and themselves. We're told the school is in urgent need of repairs. We obtained these photos of sections of the roof, collapsed and rotted. There are yet unconfirmed reports of a student narrowly missing injury when a part of the roof fell to the ground. On Thursday, the teachers were no longer willing to subject themselves to these unsafe conditions. CNews was informed some 80% of the workforce refused to carry on classes. We're also told of other issues affecting the school such as a lack of exit points to the compound and an identifiable muster point in the event of an emergency. Repairs were ordered after Education Minister Dr. Tim Gopi Singh and Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissessa met with residents in recent months over the upsurge in violence in the East Port of Spain area. We contacted the Education Ministry, who were informed about the walkout shortly after it happened. The communications unit said the Education Facilities Company Limited is hoping to have contractors visit the school between Friday and Monday to assess the damage and start rehabilitation works by next week. Once the go-ahead is given, a four- to six-week time frame has been set to rectify the issues with contractors working strictly in the evening hours. Stakeholders will have to decide on ending classes earlier in the day, between 1 and 2 p.m., to facilitate repairs. We attempted to contact the second vice president of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association for comment on the issue, but calls to the mobile phone of Orville Carrington went unanswered. Liren Brammel, 